Cappadocia is world famous for the amazing mountain landscape and the hot air balloon rides that you can go on. We drove from Mount Nemru to Cappadocia and it was about five hours but again the scenery was spectacular and uh, we had some fun with the uh, fake police cars and we also found some interesting trucks that could carry a lot of stuff on one little bed. And at one point, Google even uh, decided to take us off-roading, which was a great experience as well. When we finally got there, we felt like we entered fairyland with the most unique little town I've ever been to. When people first settled in this part of Turkey, they actually lived in the mountains. The rocks that formed here from ancient volcanoes were so soft that people could actually carve little house and caves and tunnels into them. One of the most unique valleys of all of the areas we had visited was Love Valley and it's called Love Valley for very obvious reasons. It is one of the most unique places I've ever been to and it has really steep hiking. We actually couldn't figure out how to hike from top to bottom so I actually think it wasn't really possible from the angle we were trying to get into it at. but. At the other side, I think you could get in um, from the bottom to the top. Or, better yet, you might as well just stay either on the top or the bottom and maybe do both to get both experiences and drive in between. But of course, Cassie I was trying to get down and I, the crack. But Cassie was definitely oh God, determined to down. try to climb down these steep oh, little shit. tunnels, which it's not a good idea. <laughs> Uh, but then we proceeded to try to climb up and down every other rock formation possible. Right as we were getting ready to leave, we ran into a few people that live in Turkey and they were having a picnic just with a group of their friends and they invited us to join them for some wine and food and we ended up having dinner while we watched the sunset over Love Valley. So I would highly recommend if you don't find someone picnicking there to bring your own picnic and have a picnic for dinner. This was again another example of people in Turkey being some of the nicest people I have ever met, so giving to complete strangers. We had just said hi to them and were friendly and, and they gave us wine and food. The sunset there is totally worth it. It was absolutely, absolutely incredible. Just watch. I had to add in there a cute little puppy that we found and I of course took pictures of. Next we actually met a guy on couch surfing who wanted to hang out and he wanted to take us on ATV rides into a valley. Uh, we were originally going to go to Love Valley but since we already did that a few hours before we decided to go to another valley and enjoy some fire and food and we even went for a night hike and we did some dancing around the fire. I would highly recommend finding something like this to do. My favorite, most amazing experience of any sunrise that I've ever had was a hot air balloon ride. And I have taken hot air balloon rides before, but this one was particularly special because of the number of hot air balloons. The scenery, the ambiance, I actually got on couch surfing and contacted a lot of people and everyone wanted to offer me deals for hot air balloon rides so i just asked every single person that i had contacted and the cheapest i could find was 134 us dollars which per person which i know is not very cheap but i'm very cheap and that this is something that is definitely worth splurging for if you make it all the way to cappadocia you have to go in a hot air balloon ride it's unlike other hot air balloon rides where the basket is humongous. It fits about 20 people in there. So uh, some of the footage I'm about to get, I do get a lot of people in the way and my experience was like that as well a little bit, but it's still totally worth it because the driver is so experienced at getting you up and down at different levels and different valleys and you get so close to hot other hot air balloons and you get so close to other rock formations. But I never felt unsafe at any point. These guys do this ride at sunrise every single day. So 
I had full faith in their abilities. I'm a big believer at catching every sunrise and every sunset you possibly can get while you're traveling. They have you land in a field close by. When you take off and land, they make you sit down for safety reasons and everyone sits in their little spot. And then once you get down, they roll up the balloon and they give you some champagne to drink, a champagne juice mixture, and they give you awards for going and flying with them. I'm not so sure champagne is a great idea after getting up at 4.30 in the morning, but it was fun. After that, we went back to sleep, and by the time we got up, uh, one of our friends had introduced us to another friend, and we decided to go pick him up and go for a hike in Red Valley. I found this pin of a place where you could start because it was kind of hard to find a spot, so you can use that Google pinpoint to locate this old church, which we decided to explore, and after that, we went just hiking all around. Uh, again, we couldn't really figure out a way to get up the rocks uh, so I think you can either hike around the top or hike around the bottom or both if you have time. All of these caves and churches it was hard to imagine that people actually lived in these places. On this journey we definitely made a friend for life. We met up with Amin later in our trip as well and I hope to see him again soon. Of course the day is not complete without a sunset and some dinner. At dinner, they had me break open the testy kebab pot, and he told me to do it lightly, but I just couldn't figure that out. So I ended up completely breaking the entire pot into pieces, which went into the pieces of the meat, and so they had to go make a whole new meal for Ramon because they ruined it. And then the guy made sure to come out and open up the, the, the correct way. So you can see my version and then you can see the uh, how it's supposed to be done. What's, what's your feel? A night is not complete without a little bit of dancing and the clubs were quite interesting, the music was interesting and the music was so loud. 20 times louder than Puerto Rico, which I never thought I would say. So make sure to bring earplugs. The next day we managed to get up at a reasonable hour and we went to the Ozkanak underground city. It was 10 Turkish Lira. It was interesting, but not my favorite part of the trip. After that, we went to the castle and the castle was something that we had seen a few times. We saw it on the hot air balloon ride, but to see it from the ground and to go inside of it, was really spectacular. I would highly recommend doing it and it was only 8 Turkish Lira. So if you're looking for a place that has great food, great people, great outdoors activities, hiking, sunset sunrises, hot air balloon rides, then Cappadocia, Turkey is definitely the place for you. 
you could fly into Konya and then drive up if you didn't want to go all the way to Mount Nemru. Thanks again for subscribing, following along, sharing this with all your friends. I want everyone to know how amazing Turkey really is.